What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this video, let's talk about Medusa.js versus Shopify. So in my previous Medusa.js video, I gave a brief overview about Medusa.js from a developer's perspective. And since most of my viewers are developers, I did not expect to have so many new viewers. Some of you asked for more details like what Shopify can and cannot do, or what Medusa is. Medusa is an open sourced headless commerce platform built with uh, Next.js. Unlike Magento, which is uh, built on PHP architecture, Medusa leverages the JavaScript uh, ecosystem, right? While it is not Laravel, which is discussed often in my channel, it uses kind of same uh, philosophy batteries included. So it compresses all the complexity into the backend admin dashboard and lets you have flexibility and modularity on the customization. The three components of Medusa is uh, the backend engine, admin dashboard, and the storefront API. Okay, before we discuss the examples of what Medusa can do, let's discuss what Shopify cannot do, right? So Shopify is still the best e-commerce platform for traditional businesses like physical products, simple subscriptions, and you know those add to cart and checkout processes that we all know. But if you want to have anything more complex like custom checkout flows with complex logic, or if you want to have uh, complex customer account structures, it's difficult to do because Shopify has restricted the admin domain, the checkout flow, and the customer accounts. Although they have tried to open the backend by using the Shopify functions and extensions, but overall, the backend is considered as closed. This is where Medusa comes in. For example, you can have advanced inventory management across multiple locations, marketplace functionality with multiple vendors, let's say a custom shipping provider integrations or advanced inventory management across multiple locations. In the documentation, you can see all the extendable modules in Medusa for your custom use case. As you can see, we have payments, we have fulfillments and user modules. And if you're unsure how to build this, there are some uh, guides, the recipes, for your custom and common use cases with example implementations. So when to choose each platform? Well, for Shopify, I would say quick deployment needs, standard e-commerce needs, so no complexity and limited technical resources because you can install the pre-built plugins. And for Medusa, whenever you need a custom e-commerce solutions, or complex business logic, and or you want a full control over the architecture. Here are some things you need to consider when choosing between Shopify and Medusa. First, the development flexibility is of course a plus because you have full control over the architecture, but then comes the cost. Shopify is $29 per month for starters, and if you customize Medusa, it's gonna kind of cost a lot of money, but if you're doing for the client, they're usually more willing to pay higher price for the customization. Then, because Medusa is still self-hosted uh, platform, you need to consider the scaling capabilities. Shopify is known to handle all the Black Friday sales, so you don't have to worry about infrastructure. Of course, maintenance requirements, and community support. Shopify community is way bigger than Medusa's, but it is growing. And lastly, the learning curve. Shopify is super easy to use. You just install all the plugins and you're ready to go in 24 hours. Whereas with Medusa.js, you have to read a lot of documentation and you have to coach or teach the customer. I hope this video gave some clarity between the Shopify and uh, Medusa.js. I really like the Medusa for everything else 
other than traditional e-commerce. All I'm saying is take a great look under the hood, see all the capabilities, and next time when you're approached with this kind of problem, you have the toolkits to solve the problems. I hope that helped. Uh, that's it for today's video, and see you on the next video, all right? Bye.